Thank you, everybody. Welcome, one and all, Monsieur and Madame, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, I hope everybody out there... I hope everybody out there is all bundled up. Because 70% of the country is in the grip of an Arctic blast. In New York, it dropped 40 degrees in 24 hours. It's so cold, the Empire State Building shrunk from 102 stories to 63. <laughs> yeah, that thing went low. But low, 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 low. A snap in the air means we're heading into my favorite season because it's impeachment eve. Tomorrow. <laughs> you look. Little kids dying. Like little children. <laughs> Tomorrow is the first day of televised impeachment hearings. I'm so excited, I won't be able to sleep. So, like every other night of the Trump presidency. <laughs> and I've already decorated my impeachment tree. Bring it out, boys! Come on, tree! Yeah. It's the there you go. Fantastic. Of course, this is the impeachment tree. It's got all the traditional ornaments, the star on top is the transcript of Trump's perfect phone call. <laughs> we got plenty of other ornaments, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got the uh, quid pro snow. <laughs> uh, got some pictures of some of the other presidents who've been impeached. Oh, and up here, my favorite, it's Lindsey Graham's balls. <laughs> he, uh... Oh. No! Oh. 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 He... He's not using them these days. <laughs> Let's uh, just push that off a second. There you go, right there. There you go. Uh-oh, okay. There you go. That's it. Nothing flammable over there, right? Okay, good. Be careful. The uh, lights. Let's see. What's going to happen tomorrow? First up, we're going to hear from top U.S. envoy to Ukraine and secret love child of Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> Bill Taylor. In closed testimony, Taylor confirmed that U.S. aid to Ukraine had been explicitly tied to Ukraine's willingness to investigate Mr. Trump's political rivals, and discussed an irregular channel of policymaking that included Rudy Giuliani. What's an irregular channel that includes Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> oh, Fox News. Um, wow. There you go. There you go. Wow. There you go. Wow. That's what. <laughs> Got away with it. We know that Trump's treat, sorry, Trump's threat. <laughs> We know that Trump's threat worked because Ukraine President Zelensky was scheduled to announce an investigation into the Bidens on CNN on September 13th. But that didn't happen because the aid was released on September 11th, not out of any goodness of Trump's heart, but because federal lawyers told the White House Trump had no legal standing to block spending of the Ukraine aid. Foiled again <laughs> by my two arch nemeses. Legal and standing. <laughs> Not a fan. Whoa. Not a fan of either Whoa. one. I like to... I like to leave. I like to... All this testimony is making it hard on Trump defenders like Texas congressman and giraffe in a human suit, <laughs> you know? Mac Thornberry. On Sunday, uh, Thornberry admitted this. I believe that it is inappropriate for a president to ask a foreign leader to investigate a political rival. I believe it was inappropriate. I do not believe it was impeachable. There's not really anything that the president said in that phone call that's different than he says in public all the time. So what? Just because you publicly brag about a crime doesn't make it legal. The cops won't leave you alone just because you put up a sign that says, I heart my murder shed. <laughs> Trump did not like this Republican strategy, so he tweeted, The call to the Ukrainian president was perfect. Read the transcript. There was nothing that was in any way wrong. Republicans, don't be led into the fool's trap of saying it was not perfect but is not impeachable. No, it was much stronger than that. Nothing was done wrong. <laughs> He's really working hard to get their story straight. Guys, guys, remember, 
We're all telling the cops it was a perfect bachelor party. <laughs> Nothing was done wrong. The stripper was dead when she showed up. <laughs> all right? That, remember? Remember? Remem remember? And it looks like the Republicans are following his orders, because journalists obtained a confidential GOP memo outlining their strategy for the impeachment hearings, including arguing that Trump is innocent because he has an innocent state of mind. <laughs> yes. All that matters is what was in Trump's mind during the phone call. Can we zoom into Trump's head? I have a perfect phone call. I made a perfect call. Not a good call. Perfect call. <laughs> Seal can blow, baby. Yeah, that's where it's swinging, boy. Woo. Woo -woo. <laughs> the centerpiece of impeachment so far has been Trump's damning July 25th phone call with Ukraine's president. So, to distract everybody, yesterday Trump tweeted, In order to continue being the most transparent president in history, I will be releasing sometime this week the transcript of the first and therefore most important phone call I had with the president of Ukraine. Mr. President, if you're claiming the first is the most important of something, there are two additional wives that might disagree with you. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's the most wonderful time. <laughs> Trump continued, I am sure you will find it tantalizing. <laughs> Ooh, mm. tantalizing. <laughs> yes, it's tantalizing, and Trump has set up a new way to hear that tantalizing phone call. Are you looking for the hottest, most tantalizing impeachable offenses? Then call Donald Trump's perfect phone call hotline, 1-900-QUID-PRO-O. Oh. <laughs> Foreign leaders are standing by to help you explore your naughtiest conspiracies. Join the party line where dozens of national security officials are listening in and saying, you are so bad. What I'm hearing is troubling me deeply. For just $2.99 a minute and $391 million in military aid, 1-900-QUID-PRO-O is guaranteed to pleasure your nasty little friend. And when you're done, call 1-900-TRANSCRIPT for the full release. Today, call today. Oh. Oh. That was a good call. Good call, oh, yeah. Today, Trump was here in New York City to turn our traffic grid into a scene from Dante's Inferno. And also to give a speech to the New York Economic Club, which is also the name of the cudgel that Wall Street guys use to clear the sidewalk of orphans. <laughs> Get away! Get away from my Tesla! Get away! <laughs> After getting booed at several recent events, Trump was happy to have an audience that was nothing if not lukewarm. Today, I'm proud to stand before you as President of the United States to report that we have delivered on our promises and exceeded our expectations by a very wide margin. We have ended... Thank you. I was waiting for that. Thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I almost didn't get it. Thank you. Thank you. The smart people are clapping. Only the smart people are clapping. And only the dumb people are giving the speech. <laughs> oh! But... Come on. That's too easy. That was it's too you easy. just laid it out there. It's just too... Clean just, slate. Just, just, I gotta give just, you that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank thank you so much. much. Thank you. But no Trump speech will be complete without a few totally demonstrable falsehoods. We ended the ridiculous waters of the United States rule. And I had 35 people in my office, farmers and builders and ranchers and others, strong people, very strong men and women, and almost all of them were crying. That's an incredibly, that's an incredibly powerful image. Mm. 
if it wasn't a lie, oh. because the moment he's describing is on video and no one is crying. <laughs> so either Trump is lying or something made those men cry after they shut off the cameras. All right, big strong farmers, line up for the purple nurples. Here we go. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs>